Episode 1 The Ship On October 19, 1899, the steamship Kerberos is sailing from England to New York City. Then we are shown, Maura Franklin. She is in the mental hospital and is shouting at her father. She is saying that my brother had come to know what had happened on that ship. What have you done to my brother? I am not insane. Then they drag her to room 1011. Maura wake up and it was a dream. A newspaper is lying near her in which it is written that four months earlier, Prometheus disappeared without a trace on the same route. She also has a letter from her brother stating that I know what our father did. Come and meet me in New York and don't trust anyone. Mora is looking for her brother. Here we notice that Mora is staying in room 1011 only. Whereas in the lower part it is shown that the workers were working. The same talks are going on between them that how the Prometheus ship suddenly disappeared. There were talks about Prometheus ship on the ship because at present the Kerberos ship traveling in it is also from the same company. Ship's first class is shown and Mora and many of the first-class passengers on Kerberos are in the dining room. A lady comes and sits near her, and she gives her opinion about all the passengers sitting. A newly married couple is sitting in front of them. Looking at them it seems that there is no love between them. There is also a Japanese girl and her maid. This lady says that everyone here is running away from something or the other. I think you are also running away from something. Mora has studied doctor in England but in England, Women are allowed to study, but she cannot practice. Just then their third-class passenger Cresta bursts in pleading for a doctor, because his sister Tov needed help. Cresta is thrown out by Franz, but Mora follows Cresta down into third class, checks on her sister, and she resolved Tov's tangled umbilical cord. Due to this, her pain was reduced. Then that newly married couple is shown and that lady's words were true. Lucian and Clement struggle with intimacy. She encounters Captain Ike, who warns her to follow the ship's rules. After receiving a message of only a set of coordinates presumably from Prometheus, Ike changes the course of the Kerberos to those coordinates. Here those two brothers are also shown who get very upset due to the turning of the ship. All they say is that we cannot go back. Mora comes to meet Captain Ike and asks him the reason for turning the ship. Captain Ike tells her that he is getting coordinates from Prometheus' ship, so maybe that ship is there. But he is still not sure about this thing, for months had passed since the matter had passed. There is a small chance that there would be anyone alive. If the grocery is on their ship, maybe someone would have survived. Captain Ike also had a letter in which it is written, What is lost will be found. When the passengers come to know that the ship has changed its course, so no one is happy there. They say they paid good money to reach New York in seven days. Now we see Olek who used to put coal in the engine. It is his lunchtime when Jerome comes there who is quite nervous. He asks Olek for his bread to eat, and Olek gives him his bread. Mora does not go to eat dinner and is on the deck. Captain Ike told Mora that he heard that she is a doctor. Mora says that rumors spread very quickly. I have heard many rumors about you too. Conversation occurs between them when they saw a ship in front of them. As it approaches, they saw that the ship is completely dark. Because of that darkness, no one is visible on that ship. That's why they shoot the fire gun. In its light, we saw that there is no one on the ship. Those crew members told the captain that they should inform the company first, but the captain stops them. He told them to lower a lifeboat. Going there, we have to investigate whether there is anyone on that ship or not. But no one is ready to go there. That's why captain decides to go there. Mora also wants to go with him. Now the captain told the rest of the crew members that now you can go and inform the company. Near the lifeboat, they also meet Olek and Jerome. Then the captain asked them to go along. Only then did crew members say why there is so much peace here. After leaving the ship, it seems that there is definitely something wrong. Ramiro says it seems that death is near and when death is near then the sea comes to know. The captain does not listen to all these things and takes them all toward the ship in the lifeboat. As they are getting closer to that ship, that ship is clearly visible to them. Now it is confirmed that this is Prometheus' ship. Coordinates stop coming as soon as they reach the ship. They think that they may have seen us. Captain arrives in Prometheus' ship with his men. The condition of ship had become completely barren. All the stuff inside had been destroyed. The silence here is saying a lot. Then we see that one of the two brothers whose name is Angel, Cresta asks him to smoke a cigarette. Angel smokes himself before giving him a cigarette, 
and then gives it to him but Cresta says nothing to him. Angel takes an interest in Cresta. Then the Japanese girl is shown and we come to know that they are mother and daughter and are pretending to be Japanese. Both of them were also hiding something big. A mysterious man boards Kerberos and moves into the room next to Morris. On Prometheus, Ike finds a strange hairband and discovers that the telegraph is destroyed. So where did the coordinates come from? Even after the men investigate, they do not find anyone. According to him, there must have been someone on the ship because someone had definitely sent the coordinate from this ship. Mora follows a scarab beetle to a cabinet. Then there is a sound of knocking from the cabinet. Everyone refuses to open it. But when she opens it finds a boy. Everyone gets surprised to see him because there is no one on that ship. So how did he survive alone? That child comes out and hands her a black tetrahedron object. Here on Captain's ship, we would see a man named Daniel who is completely drenched. He opens his palm and a green-colored beetle comes out of it. Goes inside his room and opens the door of his room. Episode 2 The Boy Captain Ike has a dream that he is in the woods, and he can hear the sound of a child singing. Following that voice, he sees a house and two people standing in it. Suddenly that house catches fire and after this Ike wakes up from his dream. Mora houses the boy, the only person discovered on Prometheus, in her room. Only then did the crew members come to call the captain and say that they had contacted the company. They receive a message from the shipping company reading only two words, sink ship. He also tells that ever since those people came here, their compass is also not working. Every compass present in the ship is just spinning fast. Olek is shown in the lower part of the ship working. His friends were asking how only a child was found in Prometheus' ship. Everyone on the ship was worried that there were too many people aboard the Prometheus ship. But none was found. Only then Captain comes there looking for Olek and tells him to find out how much more coal is left here. Saying to keep this a secret, the Captain leaves from there. Then he meets Mora and asks if that child told her anything about what happened in Prometheus ship. Mora says that he hasn't told anything yet. He hears a humming sound over there. Which was heard only by the Captain and not Mora. And here in third class, we see Cresta's little sister Ada helping him take a shower, telling him that when she reaches home, she will become a doctor after studying because she wanted to be like Mora. But her brother scolds her and says you just play with your doll, stop dreaming all this. Actually, Cresta's parents were very religious. They always talk superstitiously, due to which even Cresta was troubled. His sister gets angry at his shouting and leaves from there. Angel comes there after Ada leaves. Angel gives Cresta a cigarette tin and tells I want you to keep it. Then Tove comes there after Angel leaves, and Tove asks him who he was. Cresta says I don't know him. A man was standing outside Mora's room. He asks if this is her room. Someone's voice was coming from your room. Mora says I have seen you somewhere before but he says we have never met before. Then the mysterious man introduces himself to Mora as Daniel, and then went inside. Mora tries to feed Elliot but he does not eat anything. Looking at his face, it seemed very sad. Mora asks him what happened on that ship, but this time also she does not get any answer. Looking ahead, Lucian comes to Ling Yi and asks what do you think happened to them, but Ling Yi doesn't give him any answer. She leaves there with Mom. There we also see the lady who is keeping an eye on Ling Yi and Lucian. Jerome breaks into Lucian and Clement's room and leaves a Legion of Honor medal. In the meantime cabin, there is talk about the captain as the captain had not given any order yet. He had also received the message, sink ship, from the company. He says that captain cannot do anything now. He connects everything to his past. Captain Ike starts hearing the same tune again, so he follows it and comes inside a room. Captain Ike has hallucinations of his wife and daughters, who died in a house fire some years ago. One of his daughters wears the same hairband found on Prometheus. Her elder daughter says that when you leave, the mother gets very upset. I also told her to let you go. You like the sea more than the land. Captain Ike hugs his daughter and tells her that I miss her a lot. Then there is fire again and Ike realizes that it is an illusion. But the strange thing was that even after getting off the illusion, he was still inside the broken room. He can also see the stairs in that room. By climbing it he reaches his room. It was very surprising that he is the captain of this ship, and he knows every corner of this ship. But he did not know that there is a secret room under his bed. 
Mora is trying to talk to Elliot. She tells him that in her childhood her father had left her alone at a place. Doing this shows what kind of person you are. She discovers a ring in his possession and a symbol of an upside-down triangle with a horizontal line behind his left ear. When she asks him about the symbol, the child grabs her hand and signals her to keep quiet. Only then the captain comes there and starts asking Elliot forcefully. After all, what happened in Prometheus' ship? Mora stops him and brings him outside the room. The captain tells her that something strange must have happened on that ship. He heard his daughter's voice on that ship and he saw her even though she is dead. Jerome comes to talk to Clements. Clements says to him that no one should ever be judged by his appearance. And I think you must have judged me by looking at me. When Jerome introduces himself, Clements thinks she's seen him somewhere before. Due to this, she gets scared and starts leaving from there. The guards begin to apprehend him as Jerome is discovered to be a stowaway and subdued. He had stolen and worn the uniform of a crew member. They catch him and lock him in a room. Now in the third class, Cresta was looking at the same cigarette tin. Tove goes there and asks him whether he has given you this cigarette tin. You know that rich people never give anything for free. He has given this to you. It means he must want something from you too. Mora shows Elliot a letter bearing the same triangle symbol that led her to board the ship, but he remains mute. Captain Ike again goes to the secret room in his room. But this time when he comes down, there was a wall all around. Just then Oleg shows up at his door. He informs Captain Ike that about 3,000 tons of coal are left. He asks him when will we walk on our way again. Captain Ike doesn't answer him and goes inside. Tove finds the cigarette tin and angrily returns it to Angel. Angel and Ramiro have an argument which leads to them having sex. Now we know the secret between Angel and Ramiro. Actually, Ramiro is not a priest and neither are they brothers. He is a servant of Angel as well as there is a physical relationship between the two. Everyone gathers in the hall. The captain tells them that he is taking the Prometheus ship with him to Europe again. Those people are now going back to Europe, not New York. Because they don't have that much stuff and don't even have coal. It will need more power to take back the Prometheus ship. They are not too far away from Europe, so it would be right for them to return to Europe. This decision is not accepted by all the passengers because everyone wants to reach New York as soon as possible. They ask the captain why to save this barren ship. Captain Ike does not give any answer to this, and he comes out. Mora follows him and tells him that she can't go back. Captain Ike says that the company is hiding something from us. Why did the company ask to sink the ship which was missing for four months suddenly when it was found? When I left, someone kept this letter in my luggage. What does my family have to do with Prometheus' ship? And now my decision will not change at all. When all the passengers are in the hall, Daniel takes advantage of this. He finds Crestus younger sister Ada alone and kills her. There the crew members find Ada's dead body. At the end of the episode, we see Mora's photo on Daniel's hand. Episode 3 The Fog The scene begins with Lingy. She was locked in a box in the dream and someone throws her into the sea and she is drowning. When she wakes up, she gets ready and comes out where her mother was sitting with Virginia. Actually, these two are slaves of Virginia, they have to do as she wants. The doctor comes from first class to examine the Crestus' little sister Ada. He tells that her death was natural, because there were no injury marks on her body. Suddenly the speed of the ship also reduces. When people came out and saw, there was fog all around. As if this fog has come to stop them. Captain decides that they will stay here till the fog clears. The captain brings Mora to his room and shows her his daughter's ribbon, which he got on Prometheus' ship. Next, he also shows her that shaft under his bed. It is said that I know every corner of the ship, so according to me, it should not have been here. The company people are definitely hiding something. Whatever happened on that ship, the captain must have written it in his logbook. So I'm off again to find that logbook. Mora also expresses her desire to go with him. Everyone was looking for Crestor's sister in third class because it had been a long time since she was lost. Virginia makes Lingy take off all her clothes, then it is revealed that she is still a virgin. Actually, Yup J always kept her daughter hidden and something happened Ling Yi had taken the place of her friend. Virginia is also surprised that there is still a virgin girl in her group. Virginia praises her a lot and asks her to stay prepared. Yuck Jae now shouts at Ling Yi and says you have found peace now. 
I just wanted your well-being that you stay away from all these things. On this, Lingyi gets angry at her mother, you have always kept me hidden. You had taken away my happiness, my freedom. Lingyi gets angry after listening to her mother, then starts running away from there while hiding from her mother after an argument about her training to be a geisha. Lingyi has flashbacks of her friend who was about to be secretly sent to England. So Lingyi mixed that medicine in her tea. Her mother used to give to those men, after drinking which they used to fall asleep. Lingyi wanted her friend to reach England while sleeping and be safe. She only wanted to save her but maybe she mixed more medicine by mistake, which led to her accidental death which led to her boarding Kerberos. Then she watches herself, and her mother put that box in the water, in which she is still herself. Olek finds Ling Yi and comforts her. Ling Yi regains consciousness, and it was just her delusion. Olek relaxes her, and takes off his jacket, and gives it to her. Here both Captain and Mora again reach the Prometheus ship, where they start searching again at different places. Only then Mora tells the Captain that he must have burnt the logbook. They both try to find something by removing the ashes. But the captain finds something else here. There is a book with which the passenger list of Prometheus ship was there. He takes out that page and doesn't mention it to Mora. Both again come from there on their Kerberos ship. Crestor stands on the stairs to find his sister Ada but the door was locked from the outside. Now Angel also comes there. Cresta asks him about her sister but Angel didn't know anything about it. Both of them now start talking and come closer to each other. Angel tells Crestor to accept his reality for what he is. On Prometheus, Captain Ike and Mora find another shaft bearing the triangle symbol, which is also the ship company's logo. Disobeying Ike's orders to keep Ada's death secret, Franz lets Tove retrieve her body. Tove is very sad to see her sister in this condition, picks her up in her lap and brings her to the third class. The rest of the people say that ever since that child came here, Something bad is happening. He is not a child. He is a devil. Mora's room also had a secret door under the bed, through which Elliot goes somewhere with the pyramid. And after a while, he comes back. When he comes up, his door is locked. And when he opens it, Daniel is in front of him. Daniel asks him, did you get that? In response, Elliot tells him no. Now the process of death starts on the ship as well. Franz finds several dead bodies. Lucian is taking medicine but then Clemence comes there. She asks him where he is going after being so dressed. But Lucian told nothing. Then Lucian goes to Ling Yi's room. This was what Virginia do. She used to take money from rich people and sell girls. Ling Yi dances very well in front of him. When she takes off her clothes, Lucian refuses her. He wants to feel better by sitting with her. Lucian didn't take his medicine, so his hands start shaking again. He tells Lingy not to worry it is only for a while and he falls on the ground. Furious with Ike's decision to return to Europe and hide Ada's death, Franz arms the third-class passengers and urges them to launch a mutiny. Oleg attempts to warn Ike but is beaten and locked up with Jerome. Mora's name was also on the list of the ship that the captain had brought. That's why he didn't mention it to Mora. How Mora's name came on the list of that ship will be revealed later. Ramiro warns Ike but both are arrested by mutineers led by Tove. Then they order to turn back the ship. Daniel uses a device resembling a sliding puzzle to teleport the Kerberos. Episode 4 The Fight In the last episode, we learn Daniel has a device, and this time he makes Prometheus' ship disappear from the device. The episode begins with Jerome. Jerome flashbacks of his time in the French Foreign Legion alongside Lucien. The job of both of them was to follow the orders of the lieutenant. During that time both of them are in a war in which their lieutenant was killed. There was no commanding officer left, so Lucian wanted to take advantage of this. He wants both to disguise themselves as lieutenants, wearing their clothes. It will benefit them a lot and they will be sent home. Then they will be able to spend their whole life comfortably. But Jerome does not want to do this, if they are caught will declare a traitor. When Lucian's suggestion to the desert was rejected by Jerome, he locks Jerome in a cell, steals the uniform of a dead officer, and leaves the medal with Jerome. It was the same medal that Jerome had kept in Lucian's room. Jerome's eyes open and he is currently in the same closed room in which the captain and Ramiro were also locked. Then Franz enters the room and takes Jerome and Olek with him. Here we see that a lot of dead bodies have been piled up. 
He asks them to throw those dead bodies down. Olek tells Jerome that they all have some disease, so how are they dying like this? It is possible that similar people would have died in Prometheus' ship as well. Then both of them throw the dead body down one by one. Taking the same opportunity, Jerome escapes from there. While the crew members also come to know that the Prometheus' ship has suddenly disappeared. But how can this happen? That ship was tied to Kerberos. The third-class people catch Sebastian. Now the command has come into their hands. They ask what is going on this ship, and why are people dying? Sebastian tells them that he too knows nothing like them. Sebastian convinces Ivan the boy is to blame for the deaths, and she takes command of the mutineers and orders a search. With the help of Captain Ike Ramiro, he opens the net and escapes from there. Clements had found the contents of Lucian's medicine, she asks him what it is for. Lucian tells that he has seizures so he takes this medicine. Because of the dose of this medicine, he is unable to satisfy her. Actually, the truth is that Lucian is about to die, and now he doesn't even have much time. When he opens the draw, he gets the same Legion of Honor medal which he gets scared to see it. Ivan leads a search of Mora's room, but Elliot has disappeared. Locking Mora inside, they go to find Elliot elsewhere. Now everyone searches each room and locks in their own room. When they come into Angel's room, Angel asks Cresta what is happening here. Ivan gets to know from Cresta's eyes what is going on between them. Ivan tells Cresta I wish you were dead instead of Ada. Cresta was leaving when Angel holds his hand. Then Cresta releases his hand and spits on it. Mora discovers a shaft appearing under her bed with the boy hiding in it. Mora tries to open the door. Elliot uses a beetle to lead Mora to a safe path across the ship. Now both of them reach the lifeboat where already Captain Ike, Ramiro, Clements, and Jerome are present. Then Cresta comes there with his men because he had seen them coming there. Cresta tells them that he doesn't want to harm them, we just want the child. Now Mora stepped forward because she could not hand Elliot over to them like this. But Elliot himself comes forward and goes with them. When Jerome comes to save him, Franz shoots him. Tove stops Cresta and tells him not to join his mother's madness. Cresta tells him that you are talking like you has never killed anyone. We will come to know later whose life Tove had taken. The first class people and the captain were also locked by all of them in a big hall. But Jerome comes by breaking the gate. Because he was hit by that bullet in his arm. Jerome tells everyone that I have reached here with great difficulties and now I am not going to die here. All those people have gone mad and we all have to stop together. Outside the ship, Ivan is convincing everyone that we should throw this child down. But Mora and Captain I come with their men. Mora explains to them that nothing is happening because of Elliot. But here things don't work out and the fight begins between them. Mora is looking for Elliot then she sees Ivan pick Elliot up and throw him off the ship. Lucian also arrives there and sees Clements with Jerome. Lucian drags Clements away because of which the fight started. Ivan threw him down, so now the fight is over. Now everyone goes with their own group. The captain comes to Mora and tells her that now is the time to tell the truth. He confronts Mora with the document, which lists her as a passenger on the Prometheus. Only then a light shines from the cabinet there. Then the boy reappears on the Kerberos to shock loyalists, as he was then thrown overboard. It was impossible that anyone would have survived a fall from such a height. Elliot approaches Mora and hugs her. Episode 5, The Calling Lucian tells Clements the truth about how he already knows Jerome. In reality, he is not a lieutenant, and whatever land he does not own. Clements was married to a common man. Tove comes to the captain and tells everyone that I will try to stop my mother Ivan. Then a sound starts coming from the cabinet there because they locked Elliot in that cabinet. Mora goes to open it but everyone there is refusing her to open that cabinet. When she doesn't agree, they shoot at her, but something happens here and suddenly everyone freezes. Everyone had paused except Mora and Elliot. Mora asks Elliot have you done all this with this stone? What is going on tell me now? Elliot then takes her away to show her something. Everything goes back to normal as soon as they leave. Everyone thinks Elliot and Mora disappeared from there. Now suddenly an alarm starts ringing there. After a while that alarm stops and tick-tock sound appear. The sound of the clock was not a normal sound because many people were getting hypnotized by listening to it. All those people were going on the deck of the ship by walking in a straight line. 
Yuck Jie and Ibn have also been hypnotized by the sound of this clock. When those people followed them and went up and saw that all those people were jumping off the ship. Elliot brings Mora back to room 1011 and whispers in her ear I can't tell you anything. You have to ask the creator then he opens that secret door. They both come out of the same tunnel and come to another place. Where Mora sees a big building in front of her. Daniel also follows them there and tells Elliot that you should not have brought her here. Elliot tells that we have never reached this far. But maybe this time it will work out. Daniel says I want you to stay here for a while. We have to stop all this before the ship sinks. The rest of the people on the ship start tying themselves with ropes to avoid the sound of that tick-tock. Daniel comes back to the ship and starts doing something. With the remote by opening the gate of a machine on the ship. Then Daniel presses a button that stops the ticking sound of the clock. Mora goes inside the building that used to be a mental hospital. This is where she was kept but she doesn't remember anything. She regains consciousness and finds herself back in her own room. She comes to the captain and tells him that Elliot had paused time with the black tetrahedron object. I don't even know how he is able to do all this. The captain shows the list to Mora and asks why her name is there on this list. It means you were on Prometheus' ship. Mora says she doesn't know anything about it, but Mora had hidden a lot from the captain. Now she tells him everything, in fact, Franklin is her mother's name. His father Henry had bought the previous ship. All this was not just for doing business, they had to know how the human mind works. How to fix it if it is damaged. To experiment with the same thing, he bought Prometheus' ship. Perhaps the Kerberos must have been bought by his father too and whatever is happening here is just an experiment. The captain tells Mora that this is not the only strange thing. Then he shows her the page which had his own signature. He tells her that maybe I was the captain of Prometheus' ship. On the other hand, Sebastian also has a remote, and the clock sound of tick-tock had also stopped. Now all untie each other and come on the deck of the ship. They look at each other and say that there are only this many people left. Then Sebastian comes there and shows the message sent by the company to the captain. And it was written, sink ship. Mora asks why would he send the same message again and again, to which Daniel says that. I don't think he is referring to the Prometheus ship. This message of his is for Kerberos's ship. Now we see that the mastermind behind all this is Mora's father Henry. A servant comes and says that we have got this code from Kerberos. Sebastian had sent this code from this ship. Henry says tell them all that they don't have much time now and catch that child and bring it to me. Episode 6, The Pyramid Even now the matter was going on among all of them regarding these things. But then Daniel explains to all of them that he has less time. The engine is lying dead. It will not start again if we do not start the engine as soon as possible. The captain agrees with him. The survivors head to different tasks. Mora and Ike look for the boy. Ramiro and Anchor stay on the bridge with Sebastian. Angel, Jerome, Lucien, Olek, Ling Yi, and Franz head to the engine room to restart the engine. And Virginia, Clements, Tove, and Ibn search for survivors. The group going near the meantime engine sees a black metallic substance begin to appear and grow in the ship. Mora brings the captain to the place where she last saw the boy. Mora tells about a building that her father had built. Henry loved his wife very much, she was the only one for him in the world. But when her brother and she were born, her mother became ill. Slowly she started forgetting her name, and his as well. And Henry considered his children to be guilty of all this. He got this hospital built for the treatment of Mora's mom. He wanted to know what if the mind becomes weak and forgets someone, then how to recover it. Since then he started the project of doing research on the mind. Virginia touches the substance and it spreads through her hand. Tove experiences hallucinations of Crestor and Ada, and has flashbacks of her rape by a feudal lord due to Crestor's relationship with the lord's son. For this reason, his owner shoots at Crestor. Now we know how those marks came on Crestor's face. He ties up Crestor and his parents and forces himself on Tove. Tove, to save herself, first throws a stone at his head and then kills him by picking up his rifle. The child in Tove's womb belongs to the Lord. She snaps back to reality and Clements relaxes her. Here all of them started the engine. Lucian apologizes to Jerome for his mistake. Mora stands near a wall and says that there was a door there. That's why Daniel also comes and that black metallic substance begins to spreading on that building too. 
Daniel warns we don't have much time. This thing is spreading fast. Captain says you know what is happening here. Captain was feeling that Daniel is doing everything so he takes him to the gunpoint. But Daniel makes it disappear with his remote. Daniel tells Mora that you have no memory of me. You try to remember we have married 12 years ago. Mora also does not believe Daniel's words. Picking up the captain's gun, she points the gun at him. Daniel tells her that nothing in their world is real. Mora locks him in a room and takes the device. When she comes out, she remembers Elliot's words that he is listening. That's why she shouts there and says, Dad, I know you are watching me. Now she throws the gun and screams loudly. As soon as the gun is thrown, there is a crack in the mirror. When she goes near and opens it, she finds the bottom of it. Here Sebastian disappears from there sitting in the cabinet and reaches directly to Henry. Henry asks him how long will it take. Sebastian tells that the transfer will take 48 hours. Henry tells to find that child, we need that pyramid. Everyone is completely ignorant of reality. Whatever they see is only in their mind. Ike wakes to find himself on the Prometheus, surrounded by a sea of similarly abandoned ships. Episode 7 The Storm The episode starts with Daniel dreaming that he is currently with Mora. They both are talking about never forgetting each other. Then Mora gets up and goes outside, then an alarm starts ringing there. When Daniel goes out, only Mora's clothes are there. Daniel wakes up now and he is still locked in that room. Daniel tells Mora to get me out because the shutdown is about to begin. If a shutdown occurs, the program will start back up. But Mora ignores Daniel and returns to the ship. When Mora comes on the ship, the Kerberos sails into a storm. The survivors on the bridge head to the engine room for help. None of them know how to run the ship, so they decide that they will find the captain. Then they set out in different directions to find the captain. Virginia stays there because she touched a black stone, due to which her health was deteriorating. Coming to the engine room, Mora takes care of Virginia and tells her not to be afraid. You just think that whatever is happening is all your imagination. Only then does Mora remember that maybe the captain has gone into his memories? That's why she goes to the captain's room and reaches his house through the same secret door. But there she does not find the captain, so she goes back to the ship. In the closed room, Daniel knew that this place is not real, so he starts looking for a way to get out of there. Now he also finds a way, in the same way, he reaches different places while searching for a way. Mora climbs through the shaft in Daniel's room and finds herself in an abandoned house. She sees flashbacks of her with Daniel and finds photographs of the two of them with Elliot. Daniel finds Elliot and pledges to restore Mora's memory so she can. And this loop once and for all. Elliot gives him a wedding ring. Daniel finds Mora and tells her Elliot is their only son. He also tells her that they are in a simulation and that she needs to find the override. Meanwhile, Sebastian draws out a gadget through which he finds out where Elliot is hiding. He sends Henry the code with the help of a telegram that Elliot has found him. Daniel says that you will have to find those coordinates because only you remembered them. We don't have that much time, we have to find that key before the shutdown, otherwise, everything will restart. And you will be stuck like this every time. All this is not happening for the first time, it has happened dozens of times. We'll have to find the key to wake you up. Mora has a locket around her neck. When she opens it, there is a key inside. She tells Daniel that she found it in the envelope. Lingy sees her mother outside so she goes after her. Olek goes to take her back. He saves Lingy but cannot save himself. Lucian collapses from a seizure. Clements and Jerome leave to find medicine. But Lucian dies before it can be administered. Due to the storm, when luggage starts falling in the cabin below, a huge log falls on Angel and he is also killed. Franz and Tove went to close the cabinet doors as it was not possible for them to stop the water. The cabinet was more than half full, the lock was broken from the inside of the gate they had to close. That's why Franz sacrifices himself to save Tove. Tove's parents are also killed by drowning in water. Sebastian brings Elliot to Henry, and Henry demands the key from Mora over an intercom. Henry says that all people are lost in their feelings and that their memories make them weak. Now the counting of shutdowns starts here. After this, a huge storm comes in the middle of the sea and that ship also sinks in the same storm. This ship had also reached Prometheus' ship. We see that the captain is still the same in the Prometheus' ship. Captains come to Kerberos' ship from that ship. Episode 8 The Key 
Henry tells Elliot that his mother has fooled everyone. If you have the guts, I can show you the truth. Henry takes him to room 1011 in the same hospital and says look at this place properly. Your mom was not there at this place but you were there. Henry injects Elliot with a white substance. Unlocking a memory in which Mora injects Elliot with a black substance despite Daniel telling her to. Let him go. Henry tells she is a genius since childhood. She had read about such things at a young age which is impossible for a small girl. Too much curiosity is also harmful to a human being. Mora, Ike, Jerome, Clements, Ramiro, Tove, Lingyi, and Virginia realize they all received a letter that led to them boarding the Kerberos. Mora tells them they are in a simulation orchestrated by her father, but all except Ike distrust her and leave. She tells that Daniel is her husband and Elliot is her son but she does not remember all this. But no one can believe his words. Lingy tells them that I don't know what is happening but now I want to get off this ship. Everyone else also agrees with her and goes to find the lifeboat. Mora takes Ike through the shaft in Daniel's room to his memories of their family. Mora and Ike break down a wall and enter a series of portals. Daniel hacks into the simulation, changing code and causing many disruptions. The rest of the survivors escape from the rapidly expanding black substance in the ship teleporting into each other's backgrounds before ending back on the ship. Mora and Ike run into Sebastian at the asylum. Sebastian uses a device to incapacitate Ike, then take Mora to Henry and hands him the key. Mora asks her dad I am your daughter, why are you doing this to me? What did you do with my brother? Henry replies I have not done anything, you are the creator of all these things. Again the time has come to forget everything and she is injected. Henry uses the key with the tetrahedron, but Daniel has made them useless. The simulation ends. Mora is reunited with Daniel. He also tells her that both of them together have created all this. But Kieran took over the program. Her dad has also stuck in this loop himself. Now everyone had gathered back. Henry is not researching anything here, just waiting for the loop to end. That's why he used to keep an eye on the project but when the project fails, he has to restart the project. Now you have to wake up and end this loop. Mora is surprised to hear that both of them have created this thing together. Daniel shows her the pyramid and says that the pyramid that our father has is of no use now. I changed its code and now it will open with your ring. Now you have to hurry up and wake up. When you wake up you will remember that code. With this, we will be able to stop all this. Mora asks him when I wake up there will you be with me. Daniel gives her the means to leave, telling her he will. Always be there. Mora takes out her ring and puts it in that tetrahedron. Now Mora comes out of this project and opens her eyes to the reality world. Here she finds herself connected to a machine. She observed that all the people who were present on the ship are also connected to the machine. When Mora looks out of the window, we come to know that she is traveling in the universe. This is where she started her project. The message comes in the computer and the information about Prometheus' ship is given on it. On a computer terminal, she sees the date is October 19th, 2099, and receives a message from Karen Hello Sister, Welcome to Reality. And with this series gets complete here.